A former Logan High School football player is on crutches eight months after he says he felt a pop in his back during a workout. As Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold shows us, that former player says his concerns about his injury at the time were not heard by his head coach. Siona Pauni gets around these days with the help of forearm crutches. A much different scenario for this 15-year-old than back in February, following his freshman football season at Logan High School. I was lifting for football practice, and I was deadlifting, and I like felt a pop in my back. Pauni says he asked his head coach if he could be excused from gym class, but he says the coach told the gym teacher that Pauni was capable to do everything he needed to do that day. After that, like, my legs started going a little numb. Pounty says he went to the doctor and got a note to excuse him from all physical activities. He says when he returned, he was met by taunts from older players on the team, as well as his head coach. I was walking into class, and my coach said, because um, I was limping, and he said, stop milking it, why are you walking like that? Pounty says another trip to the doctor a few days later, coupled with an MRI, led to emergency back surgery at Primary Children's Hospital. I had a herniated disc and two bulging discs, and it like pinched my nerve, and so I lost all leg function for a while. Which left Pounty in a wheelchair up until July. Fox 13 News reached out to Pounty's head coach, Bart Bowen, on Wednesday. He deferred comment to the Logan City School District. The district provided us with this statement that says in part, as this matter involves sensitive information about students and staff protected by law and requiring further investigation, Logan High School is unable to provide comment at this time. With what's going on in the National Football League right now and the way injuries to Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavaloa were handled, a local physician I spoke with earlier today says these kinds of sports-related injuries should not be dismissed. If someone says, I heard my back pop, there's so many people that hear him pop and don't do anything as adults. But you don't often hear that occurring with a child. Dr. Richard Ferguson is the president of Black Physicians of Utah. He says when a young athlete has a complaint or expresses they are in pain, they should be heard. Much of the mentality with from soccer to football to basketball is you kind of suck it up, you take the pain. These adolescents don't know any better, so we need to look out for them, especially if they want to have a future in sports. It's that kind of future Pounty says he hopes to have. I was doing therapy like almost every day when I first got out of the hospital, and now I'm just doing it at home, so it's gotten a lot better. In Salt Lake City, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.